on, brother. We on. How you doing? Uh, I'm all right, brother. How about yourself? All is well as can be. Like, go ahead. I'm sorry. I say all is well as can be. Oh, yeah. Trying to live life to the best, man, and try to make it shape. <laughs> so I know you heard the Young Thug and Diamond and all. I, I want you to explain to the best of your knowledge, because I know you're a lawman, what we call a legal beagle. Can you explain to me what a RICO Act is so we can know? <clears throat> it's basically a group, break it down in simple terms, it's just a group of people, men and women, coming together to, uh, according to the system, promote uh, criminal activity, you know, as a whole. So basically, if, if it's a head, then you had the soldiers, you had the generals, you had the lieutenants, you had the captains. Basically, you know, they try to call them gangs or whatever, but I don't see it that way. Charleston White said that if they simply called themselves a militia, they wouldn't get hit with recalls. Is that is that true? Any truth to that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. Because if you're a militia, I mean, that's like... It depends. Because most militias are European, so... At the end of the day, it's like that one as a, as a, as an Asiatic militia, yeah. Because if you look at the Black Panthers, how they took the Black Panthers down, how they infiltrated the Black Panthers, they was a militia. This is why they had uh, always exercised the uh, Second Amendment right to bear arms. But Asiatics with guns to them, it's, it's a threat. I, I I I definitely dig that for real, for real. It, 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 it do depend on what race you is sometimes. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, man. Even if you got a license, they go, they go play you like you're a criminal, as they call us. What, what, made you, <laughs> what made you get into law work like that? Well, the first time I uh, caught a case, I was, what, 18. And I was, I, I just, me, I've always took pride in my life, myself, my morals, my principles, my values. And when they was reading these charges off, like the first case I caught was a drug case. It was a uh, one to four. They no, it was less than twenty five. I looked at the paperwork, but I did. But when I caught a more serious case, um, I had uh, looked at the uh, complaint, the warrant, the information, and they had these statutes. So I said, well, "Let me go read these statutes." And you know, I read the statutes, what the prosecutor required was required to prove in order to convict the time you could face and or uh fine. So at the end of the day, I was learning from other individuals, and you know, basically words trigger statutes. If you don't go in there with the proper language, subject matter, or whatever else, the prosecutor loses. So, yeah, I just took pride and passion in my life, myself, my loved ones, trying to get back out to society. So, you know, I asked Allah, God, to teach me. And he opened my mind up to where, man, stuff, this, I could just quote it off at the top of my head. I give Allah praise, not self. <laughs> you know. How long did you do in the penitentiary altogether, incarcerated? Well, between prison and just or county or both. Just pray, just, just uh, you know, from prison. all together. How long you been incarcerated? All together. Ooh, I said they got like twenty eight years of my life, most of my young life. You think it changed you as an individual? Like, did did it did it mess you up a little bit? Um, it didn't mentally affect me or anything. Like, the only thing it did is made me somewhat angry, but I don't channel my anger through negative. I use it for the positive, to learn the rules, the laws, the regulations, um, so that I may combat those that are in the system, that are in these positions that's corrupt, you know, those that are in high, uh, like like even uh, in, 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 the, in the Bible, it says, we do not war against flesh and blood, but spirits and principalities in high places, you know, so yeah, I had to say, well, hey, no, what you're doing is wrong. Is it illegal? I have rights as a citizen. What do you say to the Moorish Americans that say you shouldn't be rapping about the things that you rap about? Well, the thing I can say to them, I mean, I don't want to mess up your channel. Oh, uh, who, is, who, who is it? Uh, 
You remember Rallo? He was like, fuck him. My the thing is this here. You talking Sorry. about the rapper from Atlanta? Yeah, from Atlanta. Yeah, I remember Rallo. I'm not saying that as a disrespect or a challenge or a threat. But my whole thing is, I could speak about a lot of the things that those are speaking. Uh, Ill will toward my name. I could pull the covers off of them, expose a lot of things. But I don't do that because I have morals and principles. Now, if you want to go into a, 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 a complete, just reckless behavior toward me, then yeah, I will expose you because those that are following you or not following you or like whether you're in the leadership position or not, you might just have a regular member in the temple who got clout and those follow behind him and take anything he's saying, do as go. And it don't be accurate. You feel me? <laughs> I just try to keep it real. You know, my thing is I have free speech with the government. So how is my brother or sister to kick me in the mud? Prophet Noble Juali say don't burn my moors. That means if you see a brother in the air, okay, look, Islam, brother, you know what uh, Allah say, what the prophets say, and his books say. The Constitution Divine, uh, the Morris uh, Science Temple of America, the Divine Constitution and Bylaws. We have higher self, we have lower self. I, I think I'm in the middle. I'm not perfect. I don't victimize nobody. I don't hurt nobody. I rap for entertainment because you got people that like that kind of music. That's how I feel. And two, how can you say anything about me? You don't even call me. You don't even check up on me. And a lot of other brothers and sisters that's out here in society, whether it be in Michigan and in other states. Like I got Brett Morris in Virginia, Harlem, New York, or whatever else reaching out to me that love me. And we on some positive stuff. Have you have you heard the mm -hmm. the the rumors and, uh, about you and what do you say to that if you have? Well, I've heard just heard some things that you the know I'm talk, they talk. talking about the prison rumors. You say have say that one more time. Have I heard any prison rumors? Prison rumors about me? Yeah. No, I haven't heard no prison rumors. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -mm. What I mean, what was what is the rumors? I mean, I haven't heard no rumors. What where they say you was a a booty warrior? Oh my god! Oh man! Stop for a lot, D, bro. I put that on my grandchildren's life. That is a complete lie. Oh, listen, I got two grandsons that's here. One in 10 months old. <laughs> and then I have an unborn grandson. You hear me? My youngest is four. My oldest is 23. A lie is my witness made a wrath of the law. So you want them and kill us all if that yeah, happened? No. Huh? You say Pardon? You, you never took no booty in prison? No, never. Come on, and, 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 and Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Who is this person? Now, you know how we do it in the street or in the yard. Look, come tell yeah. this person. You know, that's what real people do. Now, if they would come out here, I would see them face to face. And then, you know, hey, where it's, you it's going to be Pardon? It's a lot of people saying it. It's not true, bro. It's not true. It's a lie. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> it's a <laughs> lie, <laughs> Mobile. <laughs> no, I put that on the line, the profit, Mobile. Hey, now you had to be messing with me, Mo. I'm all the way thorough. <laughs> Mo, yeah. I'm thorough, Mo. A uh, guy can't say that. Now, yeah. they can say I had two or three foot lockers of the freak books. I was selling them. I was hustled, man. I was doing legal work in there. Writing grievances for them. The, the, you know how you had individuals be hating and then they get in trouble with the law, man. Hey, man, I, hey, I know we had the issues, bro, but the man fuck with me. Uh, how much you charge me to write a grievance? Mm -hmm. And if fuck they head up, I'll be like, man, you ain't got to give me nothing because my real enemy is those evil ones in the system. I'm not saying the system is my enemy. I don't mess with the system, they don't mess with me. But if you have crooked individuals and, and criminals in the system, then, hey, those are the ones I put that paper and pen together, file them, them civil actions, them criminal complaints, and so on and so forth. If the prosecutor don't want to do her job downtown, you file a writ of mandamus to the circuit court to compel the prosecutor to enforce statute. 
where there's a crime. But you know what has changed? I don't know if you're aware of this. Recently, last year, like around October, November, the Michigan Supreme Court changed the law to where you remember, let's say a warrant came across the prosecutor's office. She and she alone cannot approve no warrant no more to bring a guy in. It has to go to a, a grand jury in Michigan, like New York and other states. That's that's beautiful. Oh, I, 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 I didn't know that. Yeah, they took her power. They took that fat hook of power. Let me ask you this real quick. I'm going to give you this yes. scenario, and you just tell me why you think this is. So okay. it was an Arab guy, right? Mm-hmm. He had got robbed by two two or three individuals. He got robbed. He was trying to commit a drug deal. He got robbed. So months later, found out, you know, where the guys that they robbed him. Um, I guess he got in contact with a guy. Mm. He said, hey, you know, I want you to go buy these pills from these people and rob them back. So on and so forth. Mm. So the guy went and did it. He ended up killing one, shooting two other ones. Mm. He ended up, because the ineffective counsel, the guy that actually did the crime, like actually did the shooting, he ended up getting back, getting 17 years, but they won't reverse the sentence of the guy who ordered the hit. Like, how how is it possible that the guy that actually committed the crime get more time than the guy who allegedly planned it? And there's really no proof that he planned it at all besides the po- the, they having a the motive that they know that he got robbed by these particular individuals. How does the guy who actually did the crime, did the shooting, get less time than the guy who ordered it? Or asked for well, he, he didn't even ask for the shooting. He just asked for the robbery. Well, you have to look at it like this, like in in every situation, like you just spoke about, young thug. Bam! They were saying he was the brain paying guys to do this, 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 snack. Uh, Jeff Ford. They were saying he was the brain. Uh, uh, Jeff Ford uh, slab respect Chief Malik was the head of the uh, El Rukin. Tribe of the more science temple of America before that the peace stones, you know the history. So they look at the intent. Who started the conspiracy? See, conspiracy started as if like, okay, he ordered the hit. The individual that he talked to, okay, when you talk about it, it's not a crime. But when you act upon it, like let's just say uh the guy who agreed to the hit, he'd be like, look, I need some firearms. The individual took him to firearm. That started the conspiracy right there. Then there are all the other steps that transpire after the fact. So they typically try to go at the brain, the head. Like if you look at Young Thug, they let his subordinates go with pleas. They want the head. They trying to get his own brother and whoever else to testify. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all trickery. It's all it's all scams. They don't care about who kill who, who do this, who do that. They just want the person that has the biggest public opinion against them to suffer so they can get money, satisfy the people for election polls. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, 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 I I, I get it. Another thing, if a guy, let's say catch a murder case, they Mm -hmm. offer 30 years, he go to trial to give him natural life. What, what the hell is the difference? He still did the murder. What's the difference? Why did they do that? Right. Well, for one ninety five tonight was well, ninety eight percent now. Convictions is pleased. Basically, a lot of these lawyers, um, when like and prosecutors, when they get wins on their side, to them is clout, is money. That's all they care about is money. Two, um, 30 years, life, it's still a punishment, but a person will have a hope and a dream of doing that 30 and getting out. You know what I mean? At least having some freedom. You know, it's going to be different. Like, when I got out 15 and a half years later, man, it was different. You're asking the question, Mom. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? To manipulate a plea. That's 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 the 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 I could say yeah just to manipulate a plea to get a conviction on the bill to make him look good in the polls. Yeah. 
Because that's less money they have to spend. Like if you take, the, let's say if the person take the 30 years, okay, we just save thousands on this trial. And then let's say if a person go to the trial and you made them spend all that money, that's when they ban you. Yeah, this is manipulation too. Well, let me ask you this real quick too. Just, just we can get off subject a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Let's just say you making you making thirty thousand a year. Your okay. wife, girlfriend, your longtime lover, the person that you with, she making two hundred thousand dollars a year. She want to run the household, be the alpha, and decide the rules. She making a lot more money than you. Is that okay? It definitely is not. And any person who said they a man that let it go on, they might as well put the dress on. I mean, even if she making more because, money. Even if she making more money, because this is God's rule, Allah's rule. Who do we honor first? We honor Allah and we give, I mean, excuse me, we praise Allah, then we honor the great prophets. And and the Bible says people that call themselves Christians, that a woman is not to usurp authority over a man. Mm -hmm. In the Holy Quran of Mecca, tell you the man is the head. In the Holy Quran, Quran of the Moor Science Temple of America, Circle Seven, the man is. It tell you right there. A woman tell her obligations and duties, and the man obligations and duties. You know. So now, if a man is just not wanting to get up and work and do this, this and that, the only thing she she should complain about is what God says. To belittle that man, to degrade that man, speak down on that man, so on and so forth. She ought to. I, I didn't say that. Though. I didn't say that. I just said she okay. decided the rules. I didn't say speak down on them. She decided the rules when things go, when bills get oh, paid. No. Oh no, no, no. The man is the head. <laughs> this Back. is God says. Now, if a person is mad at that, get mad at God. I, I I get it. I get it. I, I had to ask you that because you know I've been posting videos about that lately. It's a it's it's a real big gender war going on today. It's like they're trying to uh, defeminize women and make them more masculine. You know, man, a lot put us a hey, a lot got this happening right now. I speak on that all the time. It's a male versus female, female versus male. If you hear a brother cussing a sister out, calling her the B's and the H's or whatever else, you might hear some other sisters standing around like, "Who is that H N talking to?" Blah, you know what I'm saying? Then they get to going. Then the guys here that you know what I'm saying. Uh yeah, it's 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 that's the government doing it. Would you would you be a Moorish American? Would you marry a white woman? <gasps> I'ma say this. I can't. It says do I mean oh, no, no, listen to me. Would I lie and say would I sleep with one making my woman? I would, yeah, I'm sleeping with one, making my woman, but marry and have a child. If I did, I would be breaking rules and laws. So that there, I couldn't really say yes or no until I was put in that situation. And I ain't gonna lie, these sisters so out cold. I've been looking for a European or a Mexican or Latino who I ain't for real. What's what? Okay, let's just say uh, we got an Arab woman, we got a black woman. What's the. <clears throat> Be honest, be 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 raw. What's what's the difference that you see, and the difference between other cultures and us, but particularly just say Arab or a white woman and so on and so forth. What's the difference? What the sisters got to do to step up and be like that? Well, let me say this about the Arab women. Arab women are raised off the Quran. They are raised off Surah Four, out the uh, Al Nisa, the Book of Women. They know their position and know the role, role that they have to play, and they fear a lot. They fear God. So, so therefore, black. So, so black women don't know their role. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break the Arabs down, and then I'm gonna break the sisters down. Part of my body. That's all as well. All as well. All as well. Okay. No, I gotta res respect the format. <laughs> um, what well, an Arab woman knows that she must speak to her husband with respect and love. Cook, clean. Do the womanly duties, as Prophet Noble Juwali said. Uh, the sister, she going to argue with you all. Well, he kind of went away. He was about to go into it. 
we'll get back on here with the next call. Let's give him let's give him um another 10 seconds, 15 seconds. See if he get back in here. Maybe you got a lot stop me from recording this for a reason. Don't know. Oh, I heard something. Well, yeah, I don't know what happened. It clicked off. I was on the Zoom call before, and I think it had a timer or something on it. They was telling me you had to rejoin. Oh, oh, maybe so. Mine didn't stop recording yet. But go, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Continue. We left off. The sister gonna argue with you. What's up? He back out it. He he back out it again. I'm give him ten more seconds. Let's see me carry you. He's gonna get off here. A couple seconds. As long as he hit the twenty five, we done. Islam. Islam, I hear you now. Yeah, I guess the, the devil, Audu Balahi, Manasseh, the regime, I seek refuge with God from the curse Satan. We dropping them jewels and the devil trying to stop us. It ain't going to happen. Um, the sister, they not going to respect you. They not going to respect your authority. Um, I'm not going to say all of them. Most of them, when you come home, the house going to be filthy, nothing cooked clean, your clothes dirty. You know what I mean? It's just things. It's just going backward instead of forward for toward uh, perfection. And I remember I seen something on uh, a program at one time some years back where it was speaking about how back in slavery days, the slave master would always keep the woman, the uh, sister close to him and put her in a position of authority and put the man secondary. If you go to, uh, I would say, 92, when they created a welfare reform act and uh biden was part of the team that wrote up the the law clinton signed it in the law saying that if a, if a woman received welfare that the man couldn't stay in the home so that put the woman in the position of authority and that's that's wicked ain't it so yeah. so basically it messed up the natural order natural order i think correct correct look at it and no, it's, it's in chaos Women are a big bag of emotions. Um, then the man is not in the house, so they can't teach a, a boy how to be a man. So the boy, the child sees the mother's emotions, the actions. Then they be had, come angry and have tempers and want to go out here, fight, shoot. And you know what I mean? A man going to put a boy in his place. You know, you want to rile up, he's going to put his fist in his chest. You know, toughen him up. No, you're going to have some order about yourself so that when you become a man, 18 years old, and if you commit a crime at 13, they can charge you as an adult. You see, they got uh, Nathan Abraham. So you're going to teach your sons how the natural order is and try to be as godly as possible and go toward perfection and what's right. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. <laughs> I'll let you had a flow with that though, because I, I can't say too much. You might try to cancel me, but yeah, I can't. I can't argue with it at all. Man. More, hey, we I already. I, I figure what you thinking, more. <laughs> I can figure out what you thinking. Yeah, yeah. It's sick out here, man. It's sick. But see, the good thing about that is you have stand your ground. Like the guy who killed Proof. Um, his cousin was a bouncer, and he came out of nowhere and shot and killed proof and protection of his cousin. Only thing they hit him was felon in possession of a weapon. Now, for those that are not convicted felons, stand your ground. If a person attack you, if you feel threatened, it says you can use deadly or non-deadly force. If you're in your home, stand your ground. I mean, uh, uh, no duty to retreat the castle rule. Somebody kick that door in and come in, you can kill them. He ain't call the police. <laughs> that's the law. <laughs> but, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, you kick in my door, and you come in. You you got you got to get you got to leave with something. You can't just run up out of here. You, you got to leave with something. <laughs> yeah, got, definitely. Well, this recording almost over, man. It, it was nice talking to you. We are gonna get more and more in. I got a bunch of more questions. I thank you for giving me your 
you know, 30 minutes of your time, brother. Man, if you want, once this run out, you can hit it back and we can get it going again. Hey, I live and breathe this more. Well, no, okay. Talk. All cool. as well. Just call me on the phone. Let me know what you want to do. All right. Peace and blessings. All, all well. Peace and blessings.